Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. We hope you enjoy our channel and if possible could you please join our Patreon page. We really need your help. It's been a long hard road. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name is Dan. I'm here in the Philippines. Uh, the sun's way behind the house. I just turned over this spot, that spot, and another spot over there that I've watered in over the last three days. I figure right now is a good spot to put them in as long as the sun's not on the plants. I'll have the whole night to relax. Uh, get out of shock from being planted, I guess. All right, be right back. All right, well, let's get this over with, I guess. Still extremely hot out today. It's about 90 degrees. But at least the sun's down. Got mostly tomatoes left, but I'll. Well, maybe I got enough. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll plant this whole mound here with peppers. I've got pepper with a little papaya plant sticking out of it. I dig as deep a hole as I can get away with. Too deep for the papaya though. They'll probably do okay though. These are the peppers that I that we got from Beth and Philip. that I transplanted they're doing okay kind of tall and stringy but I loosen the dirt up here first to make sure that it's moist all the way to the bottom which it is but second make it loose to give them a little better chance Sure, you all know how to plant a garden, but got a real weak one here that's bent over. We'll get rid of that one. Weeds, weeds, weeds. All I got left is tomatoes, I guess. I have good luck with trenching tomatoes too, rather than just planting them in a hole. The more hairs you can get under the the ground, the usually the better luck you have with them.
then when the suckers come up, a lot of people don't know that, but when the suckers come out in the plants at the at the at the branch of the the leaves, you'll get a plant that comes out there. Now those you can take those and break those off and stick them in the ground, and about eight out of ten of those will will also root. It's kind of like a clone. So that's all there is to one little hole of, of a garden, I guess. Move over to the other side. This is some real good soil here. Actually black, halfway loose. It's still based on clay, but Nice and damp all the way down. Let's see. Wow, I'm not going to have enough plants for all these. Two little scroungy ones here, but There's a little papaya tree that's hurting pretty bad. Got one more papaya over here. Pretty nice. This one's from the original ones that I Seeded the pots with papaya seeds. Put a double here, nice roots. Put it in here and see how it does. You can always transplant it again later if we want to. Yes, that's a start. I've got one more area over here is ready to go. One more that needs to be filled up. And uh, I always save my pots because I can use them again.
a couple of flowers here. May I throw those in there? I'm kind of bold. Very nice. I'll put that up over on the other side over here. Another spot over here. Well, that was enough right there, guys. That's that little bit. My shirt's just dripping. My shorts are soaked. It's still hot. I can tell you that. So I've got one, two, three areas planted. One more to go here yet. I don't have any seedlings, so. But that other one I just started planting, I might go get some cuttings and put some cuttings in there too because the ground's nice and moist. Take some, put some tropical plants in there. Then we can transplant them later. So take care everybody. Hashtag 22 day no more. I'm wet. Doesn't take much here. Be safe. Now I'm going to water all these in real good. Always water whatever you transplant. It helps them from going into shock so much. By morning these should be doing pretty good. Have a great day. Thanks. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Take care.